Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have shown you how to validate for this one. When I click on the sign in button, if these text fields are empty, then it's, it will show a toast that enter credentials. And I have also shown you how to move from one activity to another. When we click on the sign up, then we move to the sign up activity. And when I click on this, we move to the sign in activity. And I've also shown you how to log in with the username, the email ID and password, and we move to the main activity if i open over here this is my firebase database where i have stored the username and password i'm going to log in with any one of these so i'm going to log in with abcdd at the rate gmail.com and i'm going to set the password that is one two three four five six here you can see this and i'm going to log in and i've shown you how to show this progress dialog bar and also dismiss when we move to the main activity so if you haven't watched this video then just go to description there i put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen okay so in this video i'm going to show you how to add a menu bar over here when i click on the menu it will show an option of setting group chat and another is logout so we are going to implement the logout feature in this video so when i click on the logout we want to move out from this this application Okay, so in last video, I've also shown you whenever we, once we log in, whenever we restart the application, we directly move to the main activity without again typing the username or email name and password. So here you can see this, when I click on this, we directly move to the main activity. We don't need to go through the sign, sign in activity. Okay, so it's mandatory to watch my previous video after that you can continue with this one okay so i'm going to move back to that bd chat and here first thing what we have to do is we have to create a new folder over here so right click on the resource click on this android resource directory click on this resource type click on this and select menu and i'm going to keep the name directory name will be menu click on ok this will create a new directory over here here you can see this right click on this click on new create a menu resource file and again i'm going to name this one menu click on ok and this will create a new menu.xml and here we have to just click on split this will open up the menu xml code and here we have to create the three items inside this one so i'm going to take first item that is android and i'm going to set the id for this one so this will be settings and i'm going to set the title for this one so android and i'm going to set the title and this will be settings and just close this and here you can see this now we have one setting it will be visible like this one when i click on this three pop-up will be visible over here next item is item and i'm going to set the id for this one so id will be group chat and title will be group chat like this one just closes and third item will be id and i'm going to set this one id to logout and title will be logout just close this and now our menu resource file is ready so we don't need to make any changes inside this one just close this and i don't need to make any changes in the sign activity so I'm going to close these all too and we have to simply move to the main activity click on double click on this and this will open main activity dot java here we have to make some space over here and here we have to first create a binding object so activity main binding and I'm going to name this one binding whenever we click on this here you can see this it will import a library that is import com dot example.bdchat.data-binding.activity main binding with the help of binding we can actually access all the text fields buttons available in the main.xml so if i go over here activity underscore main.xml whatever text field inside this one and other stuff we can access with the help of this binding so before we start coding that into anything into this one so we have to set binding over here so binding is equal to activity main binding dot inflate and inside this one we have to pass get layout inflator and finally inside this one we have to remove this r dot layout we have to simply pass binding dot get root 
Now the task with this winding is done. We need one more stuff that is Firebase Auth because we want to log out from our device whenever we click on that logout. For that we need a Firebase Auth object. So Firebase Auth and I'm going to use this M Auth. And we're going to initialize this M Auth is equal to we need the instance of this one. So Firebase dot Firebase Auth dot get instance. Okay. So now the task till here is done. First thing what we have to do is we have to if I start the application and if I move into the main activity we can't able to see that menu over there so let me click on this okay so our application is started and here you can see this this is BD shared and we can't able to see the menu item over here so how to set this just stop this and move back over here here we have to override one method that is on create option menu and when you click on this here you can see this the method is ready inside this one we have to set that menu so make some space and here we have to write menu inflator inside this one we have to write inflate is equal to get menu inflator like this one and finally we have to inflate dot inflate and inside this one we have to pass where we have this menu so r dot menu dot menu the file name is menu and we have to pass menu okay so now if i restart the application and let's check the difference and here we move to the main activity and here you can see this we have this settings group chat and logout but for now if i click on these stuff nothing happens so now we have to set a click listener or something similar to that on each of these items so now I'm going to stop this and here we have to simply override one method that is on option item selected when I make some space and here we go and this one I'm going to use a switch case because we have three different buttons on three different menu items in the menu so I'm going to use a switch case to simplify this stuff so switch and here let me just make some space over here inside the switch we have to simply write item dot get item id so what will happen if we get the id inside this menu item we have set the menu item over here so with the help of that we can extract which item is selected and that will be over here in the item with the help of this item we can get the id suppose we get logout then what we will need to perform we have to write in that particular case so we have set the id for each of these items here you can see this in the menu.xml we have set the settings that is id settings for group chat id is group chat for logout it's logout so i'm going to close this and move back into this one and here the first case is for r.id.settings and set this one we have to simply show a toast message that the setting is clicked okay for now I'm going to put a toast message and I'm going to put a break over here after this we have to code for the second case so that is case r dot id dot and the second id is a logout or you can put group chat uh, second one is group chat and I'm going to show a toast message for this one so this is group chat is started something I just just a random message okay and I'm going to put a break over here and third one is logout so case r dot id dot logout and here I'm going to show a message toast for now i'm going to show a toast message let me just see if this one is working fine or not log out and i'm going to put a break why we are placing break after each case because if we don't put the break and if we don't don't put the break then we will fall through the switch case what is fall through it means that whatever code written inside this one that's under the settings 
will be also executed and whatever code written inside this group chat will also be executed and whatever code inside this logout will be executed if I don't put this break in every case. Okay, so let's check this if this one is working or not. So I'm going to start this application. Uh, let's see. Here you can see this. When I click on this, now the menu is here. When I click on settings, settings, setting is clicked. When I click on group chat, group chat is started. And if I click on logo, logo is visible. So first thing what I want to do is whenever I click on logo, I don't want to show the toast this one is working fine so i'm going to remove this code and after this first i want to log out from our device so we have already created the m auth object we have we already got the instance of this firebase authentication so we have to simply write this m auth dot sign out this is predefined method which is provided by the firebase authentication if you want to see more about the sign out you can simply search on google or you can simply press the serial key and click on this with the help of the mouse and you can see what happens over here what is in the background is going on and this is a firebase auth class and here is it's a lot of code you need to read and you can simply in the simple way you can search it in google and you can study it okay so basic functionality for this one is m dot sign out so this will form a sign out operation but it will be a little bit not super cool because I'm going to start this application. Let's see what will happen. So we are in the main.xml. Now I have closed the application and I'm going to restart the application. And here you can see this, we are on the main activity. So this one is working fine. And here we see the magic. I'm going to click on the logout, nothing happens. It seems that nothing happens, but in the back end, it's already log out. If I close this application again, remove this from the recent apps. And if I move back over here, if I click on this PD chat and let's see where we are. So we are on the login page. How this is possible? Because in the login page, we are going to check that if current user is not null, then only we want to move to the main activity. But when we click on that logout, this m auth dot sign out is performed. It means that we are logged out. Now, here you can see this. If we are logged out, then current user is null. Then we can't move to the sign up. Or sorry, the main activity. We are still on the sign in activity. It means that in the back end, this one is working. So what I want is in at the same point, I want to log out from the firebase from the log out from our app and move to this login activity or sign in activity so we have to write a few more lines of code over here so let me minimize this and let me put uh, intent over here so intent intent is equal to new intent and so this one we have to pass main activity dot this and where we have to move we have to move to the sign in activity dot class and we have to simply start this activity. So start activity. Inside this one, we have to simply pass the intent. And now restart the application and let's check how this will work. The application has been restarted. And here I'm going to log in with one of these account. So previously I've added login with this one. So I'm going to log in with this one this time. So a b c d d at the rate gmail.com and the password will be one two three four five six and I'm going to sign in. Now you can see this sign in is, is done. We are on the main activity. If I click on this and click on log out and we are logged out and we are again in the sign in activity. If I close this and reopen this, we are still on the sign in activity. So we have successfully logged out and we are still on the sign in activity. It means that our app is working as we expected. So that's it for this video, guys. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to code for this sign in with Google. So just stay tuned, subscribe and share with your friends. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button in this video.